I declare, I wish I could go out exactly like this. Ashton, I've just had the most wonderful news. Oh, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Goodness, little sister. You act as though people were born with clothes on. <laughs> Ashton, I've had a message from Billy. He got here three days ago. He hasn't bothered to get in touch till now. Not very gallant. Well, I'm sure that he had good reason, but that doesn't matter. All that's important is that he's at Fort Moultrie, and he'll be here in Charleston this afternoon. <laughs> <gasps> My, how grand! Oh. oh, botheration. What's the matter? Well, it, it's, it's just that I didn't prepare James for Billy. Oh, don't worry. I'll meet Billy outside. James won't even have to know that he's here. Of course, you know, I'd love to see him, too, but I have one of my silly old meetings. And I'm sure you two lovebirds would rather be alone anyways. <laughs> so you just give Benny my special love, you hear? I will. And I'll fix it for next time with James. Now, you listen here, little sister. You be extra careful on those streets today, both of you. It's election day, and this town is just bound to go crazy. Especially if those stupid Yanks put that illiterate in the White House. Ashton. Oh, Brad, honey, I didn't mean that Billy was a stupid Yank. I know you didn't. And thank you. We will be careful. <laughs> 